So we ended the day just uh, shy of this peak here at 1735.3. We're about a quarter of a mile off the top. And so that's today's hike until we get somewhere. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We're going to try to get to that south. About 10, 10 miles or so. Where are we trying to get to? This place. West. Okay. To the library. The White River. West Hartford, Vermont. We'll try to get at least that far. We want to get to the library so we can get some information. We're hearing about the roads closing and the trail closing, and we don't know anything yet. So here's where we camped last night. We're on this, like, old service road. But see all those stone walls? So I walk down here to my own little privy. which we all know there isn't one, dug a cat hole. But look what's here. Someone lived here, had something here many, many years ago. Look at that. That may have been a frame to a house. Told him I was sorry for pooping in their yard. You never know if there's spirits hanging around out here. So I want to go check out the creek, which was only like, six inches wide of water running through it. This, I'm going to use this as a gauge for how bad any streams we'll be crossing will be today. Came down pretty good last night. <coughs> and then it rained again after we got up. So now the tent's all wet again. Alright, let's see what we have here. Not a big change. That's excellent. That's good news for us. <laughs> I'm getting really nervous about these stream crossings lately. It's flowing a little bit faster than it was last night, but that's okay. It's not super wide. So that's how close we are to the stream. And we didn't take any water on at all last night in the tent. Pete figured out how to fold the flaps over, use some additional tent stakes, stake them down. We did have a lot of condensation inside, but we didn't have any splash from outside. Oh, we're at the top and there's your view. That's it. There's our blaze. Oh, we are just covered in muck. We're walking through all of that and it's just ridiculous. This is low right here, but we're going into that, which is up to our waist or higher. Look at the little mushroom village. There's probably a fairy village right by. Just an update. There's standing water everywhere, and if we stop, even for a few seconds, we are just bit up. I mean, we have bug spray on, but it's my natural stuff, and they just eat you alive. Oh boy. Look at this standing water up here. Holy cow. Look at it. Wow, look at that, Pete. That's just a mosquito breeding ground coming out of the woods again. Clearing up. Oh my gosh, I just hope it stays cleared up. Out there doesn't look too good and happens to be the direction we're heading. I thought they said no more rain till five, but we don't have a signal. You know, the text will send, but no internet. So this is one of my biggest gripes, you know, I mean, you're walking through this and you're reading in far out that everybody's picking ticks off of them. So far, Pete and I have been really fortunate. We have not picked any off of us, but, you know, this stuff's rubbing all on you. It just freaks me out. I don't like it. This goes right along with my little orange ones. Tiny little yellow mushrooms. Gazillions of them. So we have been in and out of this all day today. No ticks yet, but this is for my friend Lorraine. I'm pretty sure that's Joe Pie weed like you have growing in your prairie garden in the backyard. And there, first I thought it was, uh, what's that butterfly plant? Milkweed, until I started seeing all the blooms on them. And then I'm thinking that looks like Lorraine's and like the 
Medewin Prairie Joe Pie weed. Let me know if I'm correct. Check it out, Phyllis. The raspberries are in bloom, and I've been eating them off the plant. Well, they're not, they're, they're not even ripened yet, but I know you'd be saying, how can you do that? Birds would poop on that. Oh my gosh, look at They are all over. This place is going to be bear infested. Okay, Pete might be right. He said that he thinks this might be tapping maple syrup. Hold on, so that tube is in that one, goes around. It's in that one. Let me see if I can get real close. Yeah. It's all going downhill. <laughs> and somehow, there might be a nozzle or something on the other side where I can't see that. It might be going there. So all these little ones are leading to that black cable. See that? And I don't know where the black cable goes or where that's draining, but wow, that's quite a setup they have here. Vermont. Relax and enjoy. Welcome to Vermont. So we must be pretty close to New Hampshire for yeah. that to be happening. Watch, watch, watch. Like a flute cup mushroom. into West Hartford. This is the blue barn they talk about that has the AT logo on it, which you can see right there. I'll zoom in. Maybe I won't zoom in. And she's hiker friendly. She's supposed to have a spigot out there. There's a picnic table in the yard stop there see what's going on because there's nothing in this town we were hoping to go to the library and get some intel but the library's closed Friday Saturday and Sunday and it happens to be Friday so this is weird man leaving the AT home he doesn't know I'm filming him all right then good luck to you, Thank you. we'll see you about Okay, he didn't have that backpack yesterday. And he says he's going seven miles to catch a bus. Here's our campsite for tonight. Another dispersed site. I think it's called Podunk. <laughs> Funny name, Brook. Fire pit. Place to put the tent. I don't think the water would come up that high even if it rained. Well, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Sound like shit again. Yeah, it's just something about we've been having tough days. So when oh. you saw the weird one in there, it's kind of weird that he was at this location again. He was over at that AT house that we were sitting in the library because they had a uh, picnic table with a tent over it. So we were sitting in the shade staring at that house and... I told Peter, I said, man, I don't really want to go over there and bother them. It looks like their basement probably flooded because they kept bringing bags of garbage out and putting it in the truck. So finally, the weird one, which we didn't know was over there, walks over to us. Wait, we knew he was there. You saw him go there, right? No. no. He walks over to us to tell us, you know, that there's coffee in that over there, which is really nice of him. But he's got his blue tarp again, and now he's got a new backpack, and he's walking away going to get a bus seven miles down the road to take him to, he said, Hanover, New yeah. Hampshire, yeah. which is only eight miles or nine miles by foot. So I, I didn't understand any of yeah. that. But 
we met another hiking couple earlier on the trail, I don't want to say any names, that was also at that place, because we did walk over there after he left. Yeah. And this other couple, they, they have to be older than us, and they're going for the Triple Crown, but one of the hikers in that pair has that, what is that called, that foot rot stuff? I don't know. She, fungal infection in her feet. Yeah, to where going... Gotta go see a doctor kind of thing. Yeah, it was, oh, it was, the way she was describing it was just nasty. But, you know, she said that the weird one started his hike many, many miles ago, and they don't understand how he's keeping up with them because, get this, they're hiking 20 to 25 miles a day, and they start at March 23rd. They said, oh, well, when we get in New Hampshire, we'll, we'll probably cut back to 20 miles a day. So, and there's no way this kid is doing 25 miles a well, day. He's not a kid. He's not a kid, but yeah, so I don't know. Anyway. And what they said is that he told them that someone gave him a backpack. Now, we just saw him two days ago, and he's only been in the woods. Now, of course, Positive Polly over here says that, well, someone could have just given him a backpack, but I mean, come on. Anybody's using and, their backpack out in the woods. He didn't say that, but it doesn't matter. What'd you say? I said, I, I, I can't say what Pete said anymore because I put words in his mouth. Hmm. What'd you say? I said that, um, that he, I don't know where he got it, but that he didn't necessarily take it from somebody. And, and what I've said all along is he probably lives on the trail. He's, he's not hiking like we're hiking. He probably goes back and forth. We've met people like that before that, you know, spend their time living on the trail. And so he got the pack. Who knows where he got the pack? But you can't really... I mean, that's just the whole vibe the guy sends. You can't really believe anything he says. He's got a different story all the time. He's got a different pack. He's got a different bedroll. He's got... So he's probably got stuff stashed all on the trail here and there. Yeah, well, you know. okay. I mean, he didn't just steal somebody's backpack. and somebody We don't know that. And, and somebody didn't just give him one in the middle of the trail somewhere. You know, walk around with an extra backpack. Hey, would you like my backpack? You know, so the whole... None of it adds up, and that's all I said. He said... The, yeah, the stories so. just don't add up, and don't try to add them up. They're not going to make sense. Don't there bother. You go. Anyway, that AT house, Linda, I didn't get her husband's name. Really nice people. And yeah. their basement did flood, and they were throwing everything out from the basement flooding. And he was really nice, gave me a Bud Light, and they're, they're wonderful people. And it's a shame. They said uh, 11 years ago when that other hurricane caused all the flooding, they lost their house. Yeah. They lost seven homes in that whole little area and with this flooding only three okay. yeah and i think this podunk brook that we're camping by had something to do with it what i think it does it drain down to that river down yeah, by the road no well, they live by a bigger river they yeah they do banks, but, yeah. yeah so that's that's it you know it is what yeah. it is we're gonna be in new hampshire tomorrow yep talk that's to it. some friends text them at least that are a couple days ahead of us and they said no problem. They said that uh, where they've been hiking, everything's open, nothing's closed. So we'll keep going and see what happens. Okay? Good night, Lisa. Good night, Pete. Good night.